Welcome back, everybody. Pancakes and the crew here to watch the trailer for from Zack Snyder, Rebel Moon Part 1, A Child of the Fire, not the Snyder Cut. Let's see what the trailer has. Let's view it, and then we'll see what, what we have to say. Let's roll it. The whole Rebel thing is yeah. a Snyder Cut. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have to make sure part one is uh, good, but so, okay. uh, uh, yeah. So I guess I'll start off. Um, so definitely see the heavily, heavily Star Wars obvious influence. So just reading background on the movie, I think Zack Snyder was supposed to do, was in talks to do a Star Wars movie at one point, I think, but before the sale to Disney. So that put that plan. So that's obviously put, put it in this movie it looks like star wars meets dune meets i was uh yeah, gonna say the same yeah. Thing. yeah ryan <laughs> how, to train, how to train your dragon and maybe like harry um, potter uh <laughs> kill uh, just, uh, i think Zack snyder has run out of ideas and he's just picking and choosing from every single movie franchise and just no seriously speaking like this is not like Zack snyder to me because he if he nails things it's usually he usually nails a single tone and i got like 15 different vibes and 15 different tones in one shot from this trailer alone i have no idea what's happening but it's just i, I get it's, it's gonna be one of those complex story probably like like dune or star wars and stuff there's gonna be a lot of lore to it fine i don't but I don't know one more Snyder, thing. It's, 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 I feel like this whole thing is unlike him, the way it's presented so far. So not not the best first impression in my opinion. But uh, pancakes, go ahead with what you were going to say. No, I think I think Big Grim has to tell us what he thinks because he's still shocked and in awe. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet. I can just. Tell I you. hate that I love this. <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh wow. you know what? I'm it, not surprised. Okay. Wow. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. We saw. With that whole like end like of the trailer, Zack Snyder did everything in this movie. He probably he worked did. his ass off on it. It is either going to succeed or fail solely because of him. And yes, it is taking from like every little thing of sci-fi and fantasy that you can muster, but I feel like it's taking the best parts of those things. Are we getting royalty-free lightsabers? Yes. But at the same time, I feel like this story and the fight sequences are going to... I mean, they're going to be better than the sequel trilogy. Let, let's be honest with that. Anything can be better than the sequel trilogy. So Having said are you that, saying though, he's um, going to out Star Wars Star Wars? I think he's going to do better than the sequel trilogy. He's not going to do better than oh, the wow. sequel Which isn't saying uh, much. But so. I... You're right. Though, I Victor, have like... a little bit of hope for this, and I'm also incredibly scared because usually when I like movies like this, they tend to fall flat right on their face too. So, no, but like the thing is, like you're not wrong, oh, no. Grim. You're not wrong. Like it could be the best of all of these different things that he's like mashing yeah. into one movie. But even if they are the best things. If they don't go together, then it's going to feel like a Frankenstein movie, and you're gonna be you're gonna feel like you're gonna be watching multiple movies in one movie. And if that ends Absolutely. up happening, it's not going to be a good thing. And, and not that it's I'm not, I'm not saying that is going to be the case, but I feel like there's a big chance that from what we're seeing that that could be the case. So I'm cautiously cautiously optimistic, but it looks also, good. Again. I will watch this, but. Because this is Zack Snyder, we all know the minimum runtime of this first part of this movie, which is a two-parter, is Four probably going to be at a bare minimum two and a half hours long. Oh, yeah. If realistically. Oh. So I was going to add, I also saw a dash of Hunger Games in this. But to, piggy off, of, to piggyback <laughs> off what Big Grim said, um, maybe not the same excitement level. But just this one trailer in particular, this is one of the most beautifully done trailers I've ever seen if for theaters or streaming. One of the best trailers of the year. So I have hope for this. And and to put it out at the holidays, Christmas time is perfect. Um, well, like, Snyder's yeah, movies it, always have good trailers. Every single like, Snyder movie had a great trailer. Like, like editing true. is a powerful tool, but... Just that trailer as a mini movie, 
looked really freaking good. But this is my I'm not not that I have a problem with it, but I'm trying to like wrap my head around it. This is going to be a Netflix only movie, right? Yeah. Right. So, yep. I mean, you're right, Pancakes, that like the, the production value of this movie looks like it's a lot. <laughs> like the, it, it definitely <laughs> looks beautiful. So why would you try not to put this in theaters where it could win awards <laughs> and really go toe to toe with all the other franchise movies out there like Star Wars? Well, and Dune? The, the, the answer to that question, Mr. 64, is Netflix. Netflix is stupid. Stupid. Yeah. They do not know how to I thought you were going to say something yeah. completely different when you said Netflix. No, no, no. Like, no, no, no. Netflix yeah. has no idea what in God's name they are doing. You don't see mm -hmm. ever advertisements for any of their movies unless it's like a week away. This is different yeah. because it's a Zack Snyder movie. Don't forget, Zack Snyder also did like three other heist zombie movies prior to this and it had great numbers and Netflix said, give us more. And he said, okay. And here so, we like, are. He had he probably has mm. a great deal in place where he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, creative control. He had he doesn't have the BS that he dealt with at Warner Brothers. So maybe he has, like I don't know. I just I feel like you're really pigeonholing this thing into a corner where it's like it's not going to reach the full potential. Because even if it's really good, it, I feel like it won't reach its full potential by being a streaming only movie. We've seen what happens when studios take this route. We saw well, it happen well, when HBO Max or Max did this shit. Like it, it ended badly. So why? Well, I, I don't know. I just don't. I don't if it gets it. good review, if it gets good reviews and the hype of this movie skyrockets, they might flirt with putting it in the theaters. No, uh, no because it would be too late. It would be too late. For you have to do it in the theaters. No, no, you have to do it in the theaters first. You would have to do it in the theaters first. It doesn't I have work to do that it. Way. Absolutely. But the hook it. that is why the hook is why would you no because if it's on Netflix that on a subscription you're already paying 15 or upwards of 20 bucks for why would you go spend another 20 bucks on a movie separate movie ticket to go see it in theaters? It's Agreed. not it doesn't work that way. If you have to put it in theaters as first. much as I don't want to admit it, Apple kind of has like the right idea with that of yes. releasing a movie first and then like a week or two later immediately putting into streaming they I had that same thought i had that yes. same thought. but they're doing it with napoleon they're doing it with um the kills of the flower moon they they because they want to win awards number one that's mm -hmm. important to, like for a streaming service well, netflix, you they... want to win awards because that is what you sell your service on if netflix was smart they would actually put this in theaters underneath a netflix branding so you're yes. seeing a netflix thing in theaters and they... then it's going to be the exclusive home of that movie when it comes out of theaters that and then, and then it's eligible for awards. You make all your marketing around that. They're, like they're not completely it's really with the movie. They're not completely blind. They do have a history of putting stuff in the theaters. They put the Irishman in the theaters that got Ooh, uh, awards. One movie, one but movie out of the thousands that they've made. That's yeah. like not make, that's not a Netflix original. That was, that's not their movie. They just have the streaming rights for that movie. I believe also, I could so, be wrong, but um, that's not there. Almost their positive too. The fact of like the public seeing a Scorsese movie like coming out just for uh, streaming. Yeah, I'm almost positive the people rioted for that too and said, "No, we deserve to see this in the theaters." And Netflix right. was like, "Okay, let me just turn up my belly so I can expose myself and right just take all the daggers in the chest." So, <laughs> so anybody have anything else to add? Um, yeah. Johnny we'll with this... Johnny with Johnny with Sony slash Warner Brothers excitement for this. Me and Grim are excited about the trailer. Speed is somewhere in between. Uh, so that's what the four of us have to say. What do you guys think? Like, subscribe, do the hickory dickory down below. For now, we're out. Final credits, roll credits, we're out. Roll credits, roll credits, roll credits. Roll credits.